The only way that we can move forward is if people do the hard work consistently and not say, oh, it's a holiday. We don't have to do it today. Well, more than half of Labor Day travelers have canceled their trips due to the pandemic. This morning, how people are adapting those plans to make the most of the long weekend. Plus, why local health leaders say this is not the time to take a break from social distancing. 61 degrees right now, clear skies, a heat wave is coming for your weekend. We're talking about high 90s and 100 degree temperatures around our area. They put all the time and stuff of all these shelters with kennel doors wide open because they're all adopted. Record highs across the country as pet shelters showcase the latest spike of animal adoptions during the pandemic. Local shelters in eastern Washington say it could be historic. Up with Crim begins now. No one on our Friday morning. We've made it to the end of the week. Thanks so much for being with us here on Up with Crim. Well, we know a lot of you are looking forward to the three day weekend ahead, and we want to hear about your plans. You can text us at 509 448 2000. Gotten some pretty good suggestions so far this morning, Jen. A lot of people are doing a lot of different things, but everyone is adjusting in the pandemic. Yeah, of course, we all have to take the safety into precaution, but there are still plenty of ways you can get out and celebrate. Enjoy that weather, whether you're traveling, staying close to home. We do hope everyone gets some time to spend it outside this weekend. So with that, let's check in with Dana McNichol for our weekend forecast. Good morning, Dana Marie. Good morning. Hi, guys. It is a beautiful, mild start to your day. 61 degrees right now. Here is your Labor Day forecast because so many of us are thinking, what is it going to look like now? It is warm Saturday. It's going to be a high of 93. A lot of sunshine around the area, even some places hitting the hundreds for your weekend. Then we look to our Sunday. I do see here that there's high fire danger because some of those winds that we're kind of feeling right now are going to start being more aggressive on Sunday. We also feel a cold front push through and take a look at your temperatures for Monday. What a drastic dip. So if you're not loving those high 90 degree temperatures and you need a little bit of relief, your Monday is what you're going to like to feel. Uh, those wind gusts are going to also pick up for that day. Now we were talking about uh, wildfires in the area, so here's a map of where those are burning. Also the projected smoke right now. Our air quality is good, but of course I could change to moderate. You can also see some fires burning in Northern California. Some of that could push up and uh, give us a little bit of uh, that smoke or haze on the horizon today. Here's an hour by hour forecast. Definitely going to be a warm one again. Uh, it's going to be a high of 94 in Spokane. That's going to reach that high at 5 p.m. It's just a little bit breezy. The sun is out. It is really bright right now. So if you're thinking about getting outside, doing your exercise, this is the time to do it because look how hot it's going to get later on. Jen. Dana Marie, thank you. Let's talk about Labor Day weekend plans. We know it might look a little bit different this year because of COVID-19, but we want to know what are your weekend plans? Will you stay at home, travel or head to work? Let us know by using the hashtag up with creme or text us at 509-448-2000. About 40% of Americans made plans, according to a NerdWallet poll, and then more than half of those folks canceled. Most of them blamed COVID-19. Others are adapting their plans. 30% shortened the length of their vacation, while 25% shortened the distance from home. Of those who still plan to travel this weekend, an overwhelming majority will drive. In fact, 21% say they'd usually fly, but they're opting for the car this time. Hotels and motels are still the most popular place to stay, though a third of travelers say they'll crash with friends or family, and another 22% will rent a place. Well, there is growing concerns about potential spikes in COVID cases this weekend. Dr. Anthony Fauci says how America behaves this Labor Day weekend will determine how the virus spreads this fall and even this winter. He's encouraging Americans to act responsibly to avoid the kinds of surges we saw after Memorial Day and the 4th of July. Dr. Bob Lutz with the Spokane Regional Health District also encouraging people to do their part and not set the county back. The only way that we can move forward is if people do the hard work consistently and not say, oh, it's a holiday. We don't have to do it today. We'll go back and do it tomorrow. This every day counts. Well, locally, after Memorial Day, we saw an average of 20 new cases per day. Before that holiday, there were only about 12 cases a day. 
Many of those new cases were tied directly to Memorial Day weekend. So here are some Labor Day weekend alternatives. Instead of a weekend getaway, maybe try a staycation and explore your own community. Instead of a pool party or going to the beach, maybe rent a pool or uh, go to a river, of course, practicing social distancing. And instead of a dinner party, maybe consider having a picnic or barbecue outside. That sounds like a good plan. So at the beginning of this story, we did ask you, what are your Labor Day weekend? Weekend plans and here's some of what you've sent in. Love this kayaking and Green Bluff with some good friends this weekend. I've also seen people saying they're going hunting. Yard work is always good and sleeping in. Can we talk about sleeping in? We all need that, right? So keep sending in your responses to us by using the hashtag up with creme or text us at 509-448-2000. All right, Tim, thank you so much. It is coming up now on 706. Well, the largest wildfire burning right now in Washington is getting bigger. The Evans Canyon fire is burning eight miles northwest of Natchez in Yakima County. Yeah, level three evacuations are in place there. The fire is 0% contained as of this morning. At least five buildings have been destroyed and officials are closing about 150,000 acres of nearby wildlife area. According to Spokane County's Fire 8 Twitter account, some Spokane firefighters have also been sent to the Evans Canyon fire. Department of Natural Resources says they do not want to put firefighters at risk to rescue hikers, campers or hunters. The areas closed in that area include barbecue flats, nearby recreational areas and the Yakima Canyon River boat launches and campgrounds. Now, according to DNR, crews are battling windy conditions, making the fire spread in unpredictable directions. Also right now, level three evacuations are still in place near a wildfire in Orofino, Idaho. The Whitetail Loop Fire is burning close to 500 acres in North Idaho. It is 40% contained this morning. Crews do say it could be fully contained by as early as Monday. Two homes have been destroyed, but the cause of the fire is still under investigation. In Okanagan County, the Palmer Fire is burning close to 18,000 acres near Oroville. This morning, it is 91% contained. However, level three evacuations are still in place. 707 now in time for your morning rush. A chiropractor in Bonners Ferry is accused of shooting and killing a fellow chiropractor. Police arrested and charged 63 year old Daniel Moore in connection to the crime. They believe he shot 45 year old Brian Drake in March. Investigators say someone shot the victim through a window at his business on Main Street. Now, prosecutors say they know the motive, but right now they are not releasing any information. The attorney for the suspect says he suffered a traumatic brain injury before being questioned by police. Moore has not yet entered a plea. Well, Idaho is not fully reopening just yet. Governor Brad Little announced yesterday the state will remain in stage four for at least two more weeks. He says coronavirus hospitalization rates are just too high right now. Even after Idaho moves out of stage four, Governor Little says guidelines will remain in place. It, it, it doesn't mean the emergency declaration over, and it also doesn't mean that the guidance that we send out uh, to the health districts, uh, that, that guidance will be here. Well, stage four was set to expire back in June across state line in Spokane County. We are currently in phase two of Washington Governor Jay Inslee's reopening plan. Well, today, students are moving into Whitworth University dorms. They will be assigned move-in times. There's also a limit to the number of people students can bring to help. Students and families will be required to wear a mask in public, and extra cleaning is scheduled in high-touch areas. Okay, this is one of my favorite stories of the day. The Riddler Piano Bar closed in downtown Spokane six months ago. But get this, the musicians found a new pandemic-approved way to keep playing. They turned a floating barge into a stage on Deer Lake. And their new venue is called the Riddler Piano Barge. Get it? Yeah, people can request songs and tip through the Venmo paying app. Very cool. Well, that's your morning rush. More news in less time. Let us know what's happening in your neighborhood by using the hashtag up with creme on social media. Well, today is the last day for businesses in Spokane Valley to apply for CARES Act loans. Spokane Valley has more than $1 million to give away to small businesses and nonprofits. We will tell you how to check if your business qualifies. 
and a beautiful start to your Friday, 61 degrees right now, but we're heating up to the 90s, even the 100s in some areas. We're talking about a heat wave for your Labor Day weekend.